And multiple reports from North St. Louis County residents of a strange noise. Yeah, the source of that noise is still unclear, and they brought their complaints to Contact 2's Mike Colombo. Some sounds are easy to recognize, especially when you've heard them your whole life. I grew up here, and I, you know, I lived here when I was a kid. This is my parents' house. Micah Mayfield is now raising his family in the same unincorporated North St. Louis County home. Their lot on Old Jamestown Road is less than a half mile from the Missouri River as the crow flies. Living on here, it's super quiet. So you hear nature usually and not anything else. But Micah says that changed around the first of the year. So low that it's almost inaudible, uh, but super consistent. So usually in the evenings after eight, you'd hear you'd hear a very low humming noise that would come in kind of a wave pattern. It's over long periods of time, so it's not just uh, for 10 or 15 minutes and goes away like a train. It's, you know, it's not coinciding with barge horns. It's, it's over hours, so, and the fact that it's so consistent and, and present over that time, um, it seems something more permanent and you know, fixed in its location. St. Louis County Councilwoman Shalonda Webb can hear the hum from her North St. Louis County home. When you don't know and you're hearing something that's strange in your neighborhood, that gives you concern. She's got the county looking into it, and so are we. Knowing Micah can hear it, as well as Councilman Webb to the west and residents of the Castle Ray neighborhood to the north, we tried to pinpoint the cause. Nearby, you'll find Ameren's Portage de Sioux site, the Spire STL Pipeline Storage Facility, and Central Stone Company Quarry. We even checked with the Corps of Engineers and Lambert Airport. Ameren and Spire investigated and say it's not them. Same for Lambert. We're still waiting to hear from the Corps. Central Stone Company Quarry had no comment. So for now, the search continues. Once we know what it is, we want to communicate so we can again put minds to ease. And then uh, if it's something that needs to be addressed, that we get a plan and we address whatever the cause of it is. Since I'm not sure what it is, it's hard, hard to guess what they could do, but um, you know, if there's a way to, to, you know, maybe keep that noise back from the residential areas, that would that'd be great. We'll keep investigating and let you know what we find. I'm Mike Colombo, Fox 2 News.